Hi guys, for today to not have been my day off, I definitely got a lot done. I cooked, I even went as far as to do some grocery shopping, of course on Walmart, and I have most of it here in bags still. We went to sleep, woke up late, because right now it's... Right now it's 7.44, we do not normally sleep this late. But I did so much and was so tired, I just, I guess I just allowed my body to do what it felt like it needed to do, especially after carrying them cases of water up the stairs, okay? And here we are. But um, I'm in the kitchen. That's some stew chicken that I made, but I have the rest of the groceries that I need to take out. It's not that much because I had done most of it. And then I have to put the grocery bags inside of each other. But straight away I have to start getting Mia and her dinner together. Just got home from work and had the dumbest morning meeting. We have this new manager and before, like when she just got the job, she started these morning meetings. And in the beginning, they were very productive, but lately it's just been annoying. More annoying than productive. Because like, what are we doing here? Anyway, I already, I think why I'm so annoyed is because I had already attended one earlier this week, like a couple of days ago, that she told me I mean, we knew that it was mandatory. And I still had to attend this one again. And it was just regurgitated information. Like, I can't even. Anyway, we went. It's over. It's fine. I'm home. I've been getting back into my walks lately. And so I'm ready to go on a walk. Because the morning time is better. Yesterday I couldn't go because Mia had a pediatric appointment. And by the time we were done, it was late. And it was already hot outside. So... That didn't really work out, so today I wanted to make sure that I get on it. So I'm pretty much ready. I got this set from um, TikTok Shops. So cute. So buttery soft and so, so cute. Anyway, I'm giving her half of a pear and half of a plum for breakfast. I like to um, mix it up a little bit. I don't like to just give her eggs, blah, 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 blah. You know, I like to incorporate some fruits in there. Some days it's just fruits. Other days, you know. But also because these little babies get tired of things sometimes. You give them the same thing too many times and they're tired of it. So I really have to constantly switch it up for her. That's what she's eating for breakfast. And I'm ready. I have to eat something too because I don't want to pass out on this walk. So I have these that I'm going to microwave. I'm going to eat those. For a second I thought I would have made an egg. I think maybe I'll still do that actually. I haven't given her any eggs in a while. The other morning I brought home some... Um, loaded hash browns for her from Duncan. So I think I could, I can make an egg right now and we'll see how that goes, but that's where we are for today. We're going on a walk and it's gonna be fine. Hello you guys, just coming back from outside and I also got a package, I'm so excited about that. I ordered a few things from Shein and they are here. One of the things that I was the most excited about is this. This is a Lady Shaver. So exciting. Hopefully I got some different heads with it as well. But we can already throw the box away. One thing I'm going to do is pack up the trash at the same time. Oh, also, I ended up stopping by the Dollar Tree and I got a few things. Brush and comb for Mia. Bill. Not my fault. I wanted to try out these natural scents, Castile almond soap. 
you said that it's natural and I really like using natural soaps for my skin I'm gonna wash my hair as well and then when I was there I remember that I didn't have any conditioner so I just bought a cheap conditioner for right now AirPods C I bought this baby oil because it smells really good this one says it's by baby it's baby love by personal care it smells really good so I'm gonna put this in her lotion because we're approaching the winter time and normally your skin is dry in the winter time I bought these hairpins because earlier today I was looking for teeny tiny hairpins. I have some huge ones, but I was looking for teeny tiny ones to put hair and I couldn't find any, so I bought these. I have this thing of mixed oil that I use in my hair and Mia's hair, so I bought another oil that I saw at the Dollar Tree. This is shea butter oil, so the plan is to just squirt some inside of this bottle that I already have ready with the other oils. And this one says that it's for hair and hair, scalp, and body. So, um, you know, we have a little bit left over. We'll just save that. Put these up. And this is obviously ready to go. Like I said, I use this in my hair and Mia's hair. I bought this little thing of, um travel container because I like having one that sprays to keep her like a little water mixture for her hair in it and it so happened that the bottle came with like an additional bottle so I have that the last spray bottle we have like that she lost it so and I had bought two of the natural soaps so we're gonna try those soon and you know the brush and comb I really bought it for the brush because I already have like a plethora of combs for her, but the brush I really wanted for her. And of course it's pink and it's teeny tiny. It's soft enough, but still hard enough. The comb is a really good quality. It's very hard. She gave me this bag of goldfishes and said to open it for her. So I did just that. Okay, so I bought a few things. And I bought a few things for one of my friends. These are, um, eat honey. These are like brooches, but like if something you're wearing is too big or too small, you can pin it up with this. It is saying that I worked out for two hours and 24 minutes. Let's update my Insta stories about that. All right. And let's run through the things that I bought. These are some little belts for daughter beans, but the box that I had for her, I already sent it. Um, I bought one of my friends a gift. It is such good quality. <sighs> oh. Let me find a gift bag real quick. Here's a gift bag of the stuff I got my friend. And I know that my friend is not going to know what this gift is for. So I made sure to state that this is a thank you gift. Because one thing about my friend, he prioritizes me every single time. Takes me here, takes me there, does this for me, does that for me. And I absolutely love that. I love friends who you can always count on and feel like you are seen and appreciated. And I want my friends to feel seen and appreciated too. I never want them to feel like it's transactional or like I'm using them. So a little thank you gift for a strip. No, thank you. I want to show you something. Uh, oh, I got you. Oh, wait, you can't see me? Can you see me? No, I can't. Oh, hello. Hello. I got your gift, and I'm going to tell you what it's for. Okay. But I'm not going to show you. You got to pick it up. Preferably before you go. Yeah. Because I think there are a few things in there that you might want to use for your trip to create content. Anyways, this is this is a thank you gift. This is to say thank you 
for tolerating me. Mm-hmm. This you're supposed to say, "Oh no, you're fine." Are you kidding me? Oh no, no, no. Anyways, this is to say thank you for tolerating me and for always making me feel prioritized and uh, not like a burden. Okay. Okay. So I got you a few little things so you can enjoy now and maybe, well, maybe when you get back. But you know, just a few little things. Okay. So you have to stop. (laughs) Look at your face. So you have to stop by and pick it up at this rate. It's three. I knew you weren't going to leave until four o'clock. Anyway.